Having access to required textbooks is crucial to student success in a course. So we hit the halls to find out how much students spent this semester. How much did you spend on textbooks this semester? I spent a decent amount. I spent over $200. $600. I'm going to spend $200. I haven't spent it yet. Well, I spent about $500. I spent about $250 this semester. Have you ever delayed buying a textbook because of the cost? Yeah, this semester I actually did not buy one of my textbooks. I went to class first and asked my professor if I could borrow the one from the library because I didn't want to spend $100 on it. Last semester I waited to get the textbook to see if we really needed it for the class. I'm still using the free trial for my math class, 125. Have you ever taken any courses where a textbook wasn't required? Uh, this, this semester I'm taking English 125 and there is, uh, there is no textbook necessary, so that was a uh, bit of a help there. Uh, yes, I have. I really love it because I don't have to worry about finding a book that's not there in the bookstore. I don't have to worry about it being late if I have to order it. I will be interested in taking the course with the textbooks. So in the current English class, English 111 that I'm taking with Professor Stephen Minich, I'm not required to have a textbook. All the material so far has been required has been on Blackboard itself. And we don't follow a general textbook. He usually finds articles, videos, podcasts, essays that are, can be found online, which is a relief as the material is much more real world and also doesn't have the rigorous kind of by the book feel of the textbook. How can we assist students get past these financial hurdles? Open Educational Resources, or OER, are materials that can replace traditional textbooks, reducing the cost of higher education, helping students reach their educational goals.